Hello everyone. I have a uh, announcement to make today and it's going to be a bit of a shock or surprise to, to many of you. But I have decided to retire uh, as, a, as a basketball player. And the games uh, against Fukushima this past weekend, uh, the 5th and 6th of December, are going to be my last games that I will participate in or the last events that, that I will participate in as a member of uh, the Kyoto Hanarei's. I asked the team not to make a public announcement about my retirement until after I was already going to be leaving Japan to go home. I just felt that it would be easier for me um, just to handle it this way kind of on my own. Emotionally, I didn't think that I would be able to continue to play basketball at a high level if uh, I knew everyone was kind of thinking about my retirement or aware of it, I felt like it would be a distraction, not only to me, but to the team. Uh, I just thought the day-to-day -day process of preparing to play basketball was stressful and difficult enough for me at the time that I didn't need any other outside kind of emotional distractions. And I know that uh, sad for the fans and it's difficult and I apologize for that, but that was 100% my decision. And I appreciate everyone's, uh, I guess, uh, concern for that as well um, and for their patience. I initially told the team um, about four weeks ago uh, that I wanted to retire. And I spoke with them back and forth and they were very understanding uh, of my decision. And they were wonderful about it, really. Um, I asked the team to not make an announcement, make a public announcement, um, just because I felt that it was gonna be too difficult for me um, personally, and just kind of emotionally to, uh, to have to continue to play for a while and, and go through the regular everyday work of being a professional player, but also having to deal with, uh, deal with the retirement publicly. So I asked the team to, to just kind of keep it private and, and keep it between us and, um, you know, obviously I told my teammates and coaches, but I just thought it would be too much of a distraction for myself and I didn't want it to be a distraction for the team either. Um, but I just wanted to be able to focus only on, on basketball and trying to win games rather than having my mind be kind of uh, cluttered with thoughts about uh, the retirement and the emotional part of it. It would have been really difficult for me to just talk to the fans about it at the time. I think uh, I did enough crying and um, and kind of uh, had difficult thoughts and stuff about the whole process as it was. And I thought if we had a, a added any more um, kind of attention to it, it would have been more difficult for me. The team was wonderful about it. They uh, actually wanted to do a ceremony, you know, at one of the games, uh, which I, I think would have been, you know, would have been a good experience for me. But again, I just, I didn't know if I could handle doing that uh, myself emotionally and continuing to, to play at a high level on the court. So that was really my decision. And I'm, I'm thankful to, to the team for, for letting me handle this, this in my own way. But I've also been dealing with uh, some health issues and injury issues that have been making just the everyday life of being a basketball player really difficult and uh, I'm finding it so much harder to continue to try and prepare to play each day that I just don't want to put my body through that amount of stress really anymore. So that, that, that's the reason why I, uh, I made the decision to retire. I hate to do it in the middle of the season to the team. I, it puts the team in a difficult position and, and, you know, to have to replace a player in the middle, especially since we've been playing so well. Um, you know, we've been winning a lot of games and, and I think this team's very talented and can be, you know, a championship contending team. So I, I hate to leave at this point. And it's such a wonderful group of guys, but I just feel it's the best decision for me. <clears throat> You know, I've spoken to the team and to my teammates and coach, obviously, and everyone uh, understands that it's a difficult decision that I had to make, and they've all been very supportive 
and and we just want me to be happy. So that's that's made me feel better. I just want to thank you know my teammates, um, the coaches, and the whole team staff, and of course all of the fans. Uh, everyone has treated me so well here throughout my entire career in Japan, which has obviously been pretty long, and my. Uh, my nearly four years here in Kyoto, which have been wonderful. My family enjoyed our time here, and we were all treated so well, and uh, couldn't have asked for a better experience. I just want to say thank you to, to everyone, really, you know, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for all your energy, all your support, for everything that, that you've done for me and for the team, and, and just to make my life uh, that much more comfortable and better here. You know, while I, when, when I'm at home, obviously I'm going to continue to watch some of the games on BJTV just like everybody else. I'm going to cheer and support the team. You know, I'll probably message some of the guys still um, and stay in touch. And hopefully, hopefully it's a the team is able to, to bring a championship to Kyoto this season. Nothing would make me happier than to be able to watch that. Um, but, you know, I'm excited for myself to take the next step in, in my life and I'm excited for the future and kind of begin my, my, my second life after basketball. So, again, thank you all very much for, for everything, for all your support and energy. And I, uh, I'm happy to be leaving on a high note. You know, we have won some exciting games lately. So it was a really good finish for me and for my career. And I couldn't be more grateful. So, arigatou gozaimashita.